This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to High School Whiz Quiz 2019. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We're glad you can join us because we do have a couple of great games that you're going to see played tonight. You are going to see Lipsick take on Crestview, and then a little bit later, Shawnee will face off against Pandora Gilboa. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Lipsick, we have Trent Schrader, Ben Hazelman, Eric Williamson, and Samantha Lenhart. And Lipsick is coached by Stacy Berger. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Crestview. We have joining us Vincent Adam, Colby Swagger, Hannah Bullion, and Emily Fegley. And Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome to all of you as well. All right. Hopefully, I know some of you are returners from last year, but those of you who have never played, this is round number one of 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. I know that you've been told this already, but please speak up as loudly as possible. Make sure your answers are as complete as possible. We have our judge back with us this year, Mark Dickman, and we will refer any questions to him if we have them. But is everybody set? Just relax and have a good time. Okay, here we go. Question number one. In what city would you find the Space Needle? Yes, that would be Crestview. Seattle. Seattle is correct. Name the Indian woman that joined the Lewis and Clark expedition. Yes, Crestview. Sacagawea. Sacagawea is the answer. Who was the founder of Amazon? Crestview. Bezos. Could you expand your answer? Uh, Jeff Bezos. That is the answer, Jeff Bezos. All right, question number four. In sports, what does the term RBIs mean? Yes, Crestview. Runner batted in. That is the incorrect answer. Lipsick, you want to try it? Yes. Runs batted in. That's what we're looking for. Runs batted in. All right, question number five in your game. What vitamin is found in milk? Liver. Yes, that would be Crestview. Vitamin C. I'm sorry? Vitamin C. That is incorrect. Lipstick, do you want me to complete the answer or the question? All right, what vitamin is found in milk, liver, and sunlight? Yes. Calcium. That is also incorrect. Vitamin D is the answer. All right. Number six. Who is the author of the Goosebumps series? Yes, Crestview. R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein is the answer. Okay, complete the title here. One fish, two fish. Yes, Crestview. Red fish, blue fish. You got it. Red fish, blue fish. All right. Question number eight. What is the capital of Denmark? Yes, Crestview. Copenhagen. Copenhagen is the answer. Okay, two questions remaining in round one of your game. Who was the first president of the Confederacy? Yes, Crestview. Jefferson Davis. You are correct, Jefferson Davis. And your final question in round one. Which of the planets is closest to Earth? Yes, Crestview. Mars. That's incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try? Venus. Yes. Venus. Venus is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Lipsick, you have 20 points. Crestview with 70. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go away. <laughs> Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All 
All right, we just started a game right now between Crestview and Lipsick High Schools. Here's a score. Lipsick with 20 points, Crestview with 70. That means Crestview, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions, five points apiece. Make sure you buzz in with your answers and please speak up with those answers as well. All right, number one. What famous founding father president invented the swivel chair? Yes. Jefferson Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is <laughs> correct. All right. That's what we want. Thank you. Question number two. In what city did the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame take place? Yes. Paris. Paris is correct. What is the most common last name in the United States? Yes. Smith. Smith is the answer. What horror writer and poet was expelled from West Point? Yes. Edgar Allan Poe. That is the correct answer. Here's your final question in the second round. Name the first U.S. Earth satellite. Yes. The space station. That is incorrect. It's Explorer 1. Okay. All right. Lipstick, is everyone set over here? All right. Make sure you buzz in with your answers and speak up. Okay. Which U.S. president was the first and only president to serve as Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court? Time is up. The answer is William Howard Taft. All right. Which state flag features a profile of a bison? Nebraska. Yes. Nebraska is incorrect. It's Wyoming. All right. Wilbur is a pig in what children's classic? Yes. Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is the correct answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. What military branch has a base in Quantico? Yes. The Navy. The Navy is incorrect. It's the U.S. Marine Corps. And here's your final question. What or who is the current Prime Minister in England? Margaret Thatcher. That's incorrect. It's Theresa May. All right. We've come to the end of round two now. Here's our score. Lipsick, 25 points. Crestview with 90. This last round, 10 questions again. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody needs to get those buzzers ready. And please speak up with your answers. And this is really important to make them as complete as possible. All right, number one, which comic hero appeared first in action comic number one? Yes, that would be Lipsick. Superman. Superman is the answer. All right, who was considered the first lady of the world in the 1930s and 40s? Yes, Crestview. Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt is correct. All right, question number three in your game. Astrophobia is a fear of what? Yes, Crestview. Space. Space is incorrect. Lipsick, you have a chance to answer this one. Heights, yeah. the fear of heights. Heights is also incorrect. Thunder and lightning is what we're talking about here. All right, question number four in your final round. What Indian tribe was invited to join the pilgrims at Thanksgiving? Yes, Crestview. Powhatan. That is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try it? Yes. Shawnee. Shawnee is also incorrect. The answer here is the Wampanoag Indians. All right, number five. What does the term allegro mean in music? Yes. 
Yes, Crestview? Fast. Fast tempo. We will take that, a faster tempo. All right, question number six. In what state is Everglades National Park? Yes, Crestview. Florida. Florida is the answer there. Okay, four questions remaining in this game. Who created the Star Wars movies? Yes, Crestview. George Lucas. George Lucas is the answer. What is the oldest university in the United States? Yes, Crestview. The University of Virginia. That is incorrect. So Lipsick, you've got a chance to try this. Yes. Yale. Yale is also incorrect. Harvard is the answer. All right, two questions remain. Which state is the largest state in land area east? Yes, that would be Crestview. New York. New York is incorrect. Lipsick, you want me to complete the question. Which state is the largest state in land area east of the Mississippi River? We can take your answer. Virginia. Virginia is also incorrect. It's Georgia. All right, one question remains here in your game. Name the largest nonpolar desert in the world. Yes, Crestview. The Sahara. The Sahara Desert is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Crestview and Lipsick. Here is the final score. Lipsick, you had 35 points. Crestview, you'll be moving on with 140 points, so congratulations. Lipsick, we want to thank you for joining us this year. We will definitely be seeing you back here to play, and we will, we will be back with another game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Alright, we're just about ready to start a new game now between Pandora Gilboa and Shawnee High Schools. But first we want to tell you that Crestview won our first game of the night, so they'll be taking on the winner of this game. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Shawnee High School. We have Jacob Hirschfeld, Reed Malcolm, Matthew Ayers, and Colton Drexler. And Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome, gentlemen. Okay, turning now to Pandora Gilboa. Joining us is Emma Deitering, Jacob Suter, Caleb Shear, and Sid Norton. Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you as well. Okay, we are going to play two rounds before we go into commercial break. Our first round I know some of you are familiar with this, but it is 10 questions worth 10 points apiece, all up for grabs. Get those buzzers ready. Really important that you speak up as loudly as you can so that our judge can hear you, as well as all of those watching at home. And make sure your answers are as complete as possible, especially when it comes to names, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. When does Thanksgiving occur every year? Yes, that'd be Pandora Gilboa. The fourth Thursday of November. That is the correct answer. Very good. All right, question number two. Who was the first U.S. president to be born an American citizen? Pandora. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson is the incorrect answer. Shawnee, you want to try it? Uh, John Quincy Adams. That is also incorrect. The answer is Martin Van Buren. He was born in 1782. All right, question number three. What is the score for a perfect game in bowling? 
Yes, Shawnee. 300. 300 is correct. Moving on to number four now. What is a group of turtles called? Yes, Pandora. A pod. A pod is incorrect. Shawnee. An army. An army is also incorrect. What we're looking for here is a bale. All right, question number five. At what tourist area would you be if you were on Made of the Mist? Yes, Pandora Gilboa. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is the correct answer. All right, number six. What holiday is celebrated on the second Sunday in May? Yes, Pandora. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is the correct answer. All right, moving on to question seven in this game and your first round. The Volkswagen Beetle was manufactured in 1938 in what country? Yes, Pandora. Um, Germany. Germany is correct. In architecture, what is the topmost central stone of an arch called? Yes, Shawnee. Keystone. Keystone is correct. In the Bible, what did Samson lose when Delilah cut his hair? Yes, that would be Pandora. His strength. His strength is a correct answer. And here's your final question in round one. What novel begins with the phrase, call me Ishmael? Yes, Pandora. Moby Dick. Moby Dick is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one now. In our game between Pandora Gilboa and Shawnee, here's our score. Shawnee with 20 points, Pandora you have 60, so that means you will be leading this round. You have five questions with five points apiece. They are all yours, but please ring in the buzzer, okay? What year was the first Thanksgiving? <laughs> That yes. 1681. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. One number off, it was 1621. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Question two. Who painted The Last Supper? Oh, yeah. We can answer. Yep, you can uh, answer that. Leonardo da Vinci. That is correct. Leonardo da Vinci. All right. Question number three. What is a group of bears called? <laughs> yes. A herd. A herd is incorrect. <laughs> it's actually a sleuth. Okay. How about that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Question number four in our second round. For how many terms was Franklin, was President Franklin Day Roosevelt elected president? Yes. Four. Four is the correct answer. And here's your final question, round two. What is the longest river in the United States? Yes. The Mississippi. That is incorrect. The answer is the Missouri River. Oh. All right, moving over to Shawnee now. Is everybody ready over here? Okay, make sure you buzz in with your answers. What inventor had 1,093 Yes, Shawnee. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is correct. In patents, that is. So how much money is given to each player at the start of a Monopoly game? Yes. $5,000. $5,000 is incorrect. It's $1,500. All right. Question three in your, in your second round. How old was the biblical Noah when God sent the rain? Yes, Shawnee? Uh, 900 years old. 900 is incorrect. It's 600 years old. Okay, two questions remaining in round two. What do you fear if you have musophobia? Yes. Music? Music is incorrect. You would think so, but it is actually mice. All right, our final question in round two. Name two of the four U.S. presidents to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. 
Yes. Barack Obama and Theodore Roosevelt. You are correct. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now. Here is our score. Shawnee, you have 30 points. Pandora Gilboa, 70. We're going to take a break, but we'll be back with our final round of 10 questions right after the break. Don't go away. <laughs> Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into our final round of questions between Pandora Gilboa and Shawnee, and here's our score right now. Shawnee, you have 30 points. Pandora Gilboa with 70. All right, this is a final round of 10 questions once again with um, a total of 10 points for each. So everybody's set to go? Okay. Give the name of the organization named for naturalist John Audubon. is up here. The question, the answer is the Audubon Society. All right, question number two. Finish this line in the famous Longfellow poem. Listen, my children, and you will hear of the midnight ride. Shawnee. Of Paul Revere. Of Paul Revere is correct. All right, moving on to question number three in your final round. What was left in the box after Pandora opened it? Yes, Pandora Gilboa. Hope. Hope is correct. Number four. What sea mammal's oil was burned in colonial lamps? Yes, Shawnee. Whale. Whale is correct. All right, moving on to number five now. What type of gardening is a way of growing plants without chemical pesticides or fertilizers? Yes, Pandora. Organic. Organic is correct. What noble savage is Lord Greystoke better known as? Nope, time is up. The answer is Tarzan. All right. Question number seven. In what city and state is the Grand Old Opry? Yes, Pandora. Oh, um, Sydney, Australia. That is incorrect. Shawnee, you want to try it? Yes. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. That is the answer. Nashville, Tennessee. Which U.S. president named the first African American Supreme Court Justice? Yes, Shawnee. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, incorrect. Pandora Gilboa. Yes. Um, George W. Bush. Also incorrect. Lyndon Johnson is the answer. All right, we have two questions remaining in this game between Shawnee High School and Pandora Gilboa. What state's official flower is the orange blossom? Pandora. Florida. Florida is correct. And here's your final question in this game. Each year, the U.S. president gives what to a live turkey? Pandora. A pardoning. A pardon is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Pandora Gilboa and Shawnee. Here is our final score. Shawnee, 60 points. Pandora Gilboa, 110. So congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. Shawnee, it's always a pleasure to have you. Thanks for joining us this year. Thank you for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.